Good day, everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game Per Quacky. This game came out in 1956, the original version did, and it is for two to how many players you want. You could probably even do a solitaire version of this game if you want. Rules of this game are really simple. You're going to be rolling a bunch of dice with letters on them, and you're going to try to form as many words as you can as time allows. So let's take a look at it. Okay, guys, here we go. We have 13 dice here, 10 of them that are black and three of them that are red. The black are called non-vulnerable dice, and then the red are called vulnerable dice. And I'll get to that here in just a little bit. You have a timer over here, and of course you also have your handy dice cup. So in the very beginning, you're going to go ahead, or your team is going to go ahead and take all the black dice, put them here in the cup, and then what you're going to do is roll them. And then you're going to go ahead and flip the timer over. Now what you're going to be simply doing is you're just going to be trying to make as many words as you can with the letters that you have uh, showing. And you're going to be able to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight letter words or more than eight letter words. And what you're basically trying to do is you're trying to fill in these groups so you can try to get bonus points. So if you get five three letter words, you'll uh, get five, 100 points. If you get five four letter words, you get 200 points. But if you only get three three letter words, you'll get 80 points and the scoring goes on from there. So let's say I went ahead and I made the word leg. So uh, you go write the word leg in here and this will give you 60 points. Uh, let's say I went ahead and made the word legs. So now I have a four letter word and I'll go ahead and write the word legs in here or somebody else will and this will give me 120 points. And so play will continue going on like that until the timer runs out and then what you're going to do is you're going to total up your score. Now the bonuses work like this. Anytime you have two sections that are adjacent to each other completed you're going to get the bonuses. So if you have three and four completed with five words each you'll get a bonus of 300. If you have four and five complete you'll get 500, five and six. 800 and so on and so forth and that's basically how you're going to score you'll just look at the number to the last word that you wrote in each column and you'll score that way and then you'll do any bonus points now where the red dice come in is after you have scored 2,000 or more points you're going to go ahead and add that into the mix and roll them along with the black dice uh, now the deal with that is you're not going to be able to do any three letter words and you also have to score a minimum of 500 points on your turn if you fail to do that you're going to end up losing 500 points and then any words that you did make you're going to lose the points for those so you'll basically end up with negative 500. So anyway each player will go ahead and take their turn, their roll, they'll add their score and the first player to get the 5,000 points is going to win the game and that folks is per quacky. So my final thoughts on Per Quacky. Well, the version I have here is Lake Size 1975 version, and this game has been out for quite a long time. I think as far as word games, this is a pretty good one. If you like word games like Boggle or uh, even Scrabble, this is a good quick game. It's light. You can bring it with you anywhere. It's really easy to learn. Uh, one thing about this, and I don't know if the rules have changed on this, um, is I call it the S rule. Um, if you end up rolling an S on your die, it makes it really easy to form like an extra letter word. So if you like had leg, you can make legs. If you had ham, you can make hams and you'll just be able to fill those in really quickly. Whereas if another player does not end up rolling an S, he's not going to have that advantage. So there could be a rule fix with that to where uh, you could have to choose either one or the other um, just so it would make it more fair. Um, the vulnerability dice uh, do add a little element of challenge to the game. Um, I have found it's really not that difficult to score 500 points, but it really just depends on the dice that you get. Sometimes you may get great letters, other times you may not get so great letters. Uh, but that's part of the challenge in this game. I don't think it really goes for that much, um, but if you like word games, this is one to check out. So guys, that's my review of Perquacky. See you later. Keep on gaming.